I've been watching Kinesis for some time, looking at it for about a year, and uh, I decided to to um, move some money and accumulate some gold and silver and such into the Kinesis system. And I was going to do this a few months ago, and then the price of platinum went below $1,000 an ounce. So I got sidetracked buying platinum, but I'm back. So here's the agenda for this video. Why am I doing this? Why would I use Kinesis? Why might you use Kinesis? What's my plan? I'll kind of lay out the steps. What are some issues I see? And we'll go ahead and make the first deposit right here during this video. Why use Kinesis? Well, lower premiums for purchasing. So compared to retail, buying gold and silver at retail, um, buying your precious metal through Kinesis is, is, is a bargain. So the prices are very good. And the second bullet here is you've got secure storage of your precious metals. So in my other video, I talk about the migration we go through, right? You're, you're hiding and stuffing, stuffing your stuff around the house. Then you migrate to uh, expand to safe deposit boxes or such. And then the third step is outsourcing, where you want someone else to have the responsibility for securing your precious metals. Bullet number three here is appreciation. You buy uh, silver and gold hoping that they appreciate in value or at least maintain their value as your fiat currency declines. But on top of that, uh, Kinesis offers the opportunity to earn a yield, extra income you might say, from the precious metals. That is really interesting. That is a unique idea and, and it's very special. You've got two ways to win here. Number four here is one I'm interested in, probably nobody else is, but emeralds. So the Kinesis people are talking uh, about using emeralds. Apparently emeralds maintain their value extremely well over time. Even with synthetic stones in the market now, uh, emeralds have maintained their value, which is beautiful. Number five, uh, income generation with a Kinesis Velocity token. So the Kinesis Velocity token really can offer some leverage here in a way to in generate some income. So I definitely am interested in that. As soon as I can get my hands on it, I'm looking at the KVTs. But I'm going to start here with the other things first. All right, number six is increased safety and potential on emergency fund. All the experts tell us you should have an emergency fund. Be able to live six months if you lose your job or your company goes bankrupt. Well, here's the problem I've always had with my emergency fund is I'm not comfortable with it being in the bank. If your employer struggles and you lose your job, that probably means that the economy is in trouble and you're going to have trouble finding other jobs. And that probably means your bank is in trouble. So I've always had this problem where there's going to be a correlation between needing my emergency fund and banks being in trouble. Here's my plan. Number one is to set up and verify the account. Number two is initial deposit. And uh, number three. So after I've got some gold set aside, I want to uh, bring some more money into the Kinesis system, store it in gold, and then use it for transactions. So I already mentioned emergency fund, right? That's part of it. And then there's some other bills that I pay periodically, uh, uh, property taxes once a year and car insurance. These are not super frequent things that like buying gasoline or food at McDonald's, but they're things you do once in a while. So I, I intend right now to use Kinesis for those kinds of bills and use this debit card. All right, number four, definitely want to buy the uh, Kinesis Velocity tokens. Uh, number five, I mentioned already, um, in addition to my initial position of gold, I want to just accumulate to it over time. And number six, I do have this interest in buying emeralds. Emeralds are currently not available on the Kinesis system. Um, I have already set up and verified my account, and I have also set up two-factor authentication. All those processes are simple enough, straightforward, no surprises there. You'll find it easy. One clever thing they've done is with verifying your account when you create a new account, verifying it is very fascinating how they've done that. Check it out. There's still some open questions that I have. The minting process where you take currency and convert it into gold. I think maybe that used to be a separate website and they're trying to pull it together and all underneath this kinesis.money. We'll find out. Number two is taxes. So imagine you buy gold. So let's just say you buy 100 grams of gold. All right, now you use some of that and you make purchases. So you take off 10 grams and you make some kind of a purchase. You take off five grams and you make some kind of, now you've got 85 grams of gold left. What happens if that gold appreciated in value? And at the end of the year, um, 
you your gold purchase is appreciated in value, but you spent some of it during the year. How do you do the taxes on all that? I mean, that could be a real mess. In addition, you're going to earn a yield on this. So now you're going to earn a yield that comes to you in gold, right? KAUs. And that will immediately purchase more gold, which then starts a new appreciation cycle for that, that gold you earned in a yield. But you're going to have a taxable event, possibly, um, for the gold that you purchased and sold and spent during the year. So for those 15 grams of gold I mentioned that you spent making transactions, if gold has gone up in value, you may have a taxable event there. I'm going to get in here and look at what kind of reports they have and such to see. Number three, talk about this holder's yield and then you got the debit card and somehow when you listen to the videos on the Kinesis YouTube page and such, they talk about like there's two different buckets. I don't see those two buckets. So when I'm looking at the website, I don't see them, but they're in there. So we'll figure that out together. So those are some of the issues. Well, let's go ahead and uh, make that first deposit. So here we go. Deposit now. I'm going to bring in US dollars. Wow. And depositing money to a bank in Indonesia. I'm going to try the live chat here. So Ralph here from support was helpful. Um, by the way, I've contacted support before and they do pretty good. This answers one of my other questions here. So the Minters area and Kinesis money are the two different buckets. But whatever you've gotten money, just let it sit there. Then that qualifies for the depositor's yield and the holder's yield. Okay, we're learning together. This was interesting. First off, um, you know, I talked in, in my PowerPoint there about the two buckets. And it turns out that I can do everything I want to do inside of Kinesis.money. I don't need to worry about the minting thing. That's whatever, whatever. For my purposes, I don't need to worry about it. So I'm just going to focus on Kinesis.money. The other question I had was, how do you how do you specify and say, hey, here's a chunk of money I want to earn the holder's yield? You don't. Uh, it's just whatever you've got sitting there and you haven't used for other spent you, with your debit card or whatever. Whatever you have there is what earns the holder's yield. Depositor's yield, I think they're renaming that to the uh, velocity yield, I think. But anyways, that's the yield you get based on your initial first deposit. So it sounds like that would stay the same whether or not you keep the money in the holders thing. I can't do this today. The monies I was going to transfer in are actually in a U.S. based credit union, not a bank, which does not allow transfers. And furthermore, they're saying here allow three to five days for the funds to clear. I assume it'll show up in my dashboard when it gets there. And so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to initiate that through my bank. But first I need to get the money moved out of credit union back to my bank. Then I'll initiate the international bank transfer and it's going to be probably a week to two weeks before I get back with you on this. We'll let you know how it goes.